by your name. Holy Jesus. Because of all, thank you so much, Lord thank Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Power, thank you because of who you are. This morning, you, the Lord, you want to do, and you have something you want to do in our lives. Spirit, yes. of the I'm asking and I'm praying that you will do it. And Amen. Which Amen. Longing for and asking you in the place of prayer, you will yes. respond. Even Amen. In Jesus. Amen. Who you have answered? Hey, thank you. We pray. Amen. 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 Before we before we start at all, I want us to I want us to know that um, all this prayer we we are always praying because there are people who have this uh, wrong mindset that how can somebody you know today they call it Ojo Aje Abi in Yoruba yeah. yeah. yes yes yeah. yes Ojo Aje something like that yeah. yes they, they don't joke with uh, something like Monday and the. Uh, they feel that if a Yoruba, Yoruba believes so much in what they call Kadara, and then they will tell you that uh, mm -hmm. oh, they, they, they have another name for it, Ayomo. So yes. they that uh, we call it predestination. So they believe mm -hmm. that uh, so this one has been predestined for this, this one has been predestined for this. If your Monday is okay, Tuesday will be okay, all the other days. If your mm -hmm. Monday is bad, every other day will be bad, all those kind of things. Mm -hmm. And uh, the greatest thing one can do mm. and uh, to make his life so beautiful is to engage in prayer. Yes. Uh, I, I've been awake since past one, not because I didn't want to sleep. Actually, I was reading scripture since that time till this morning. So, and then, then I, I saw something that baffled me in the Bible, in the in the book of Isaiah. It's, mm -hmm. it's quite disturbing. And the same attitude I saw in that scripture was the same attitude that Eli exhibited. Ezekiah, mm -hmm. he was a king, a good king mm -hmm. for that matter. Uh, mm -hmm. When prophecy came, the, the king of Babylon sent some people after he, he recovered from the illness. And the king of Babylon sent some people to him. Mm -hmm. so, Without, without them even asking much question, he began to show them all the different places. He, he did the eye secret from his own enemy. He showed them everything. You see the city, you see the city. He just showed them everything. And God was not pleased with it. And God sent the prophet to him. Uh -uh. Who were these people that came? And all? It's not as if God, it's not as if God was not aware of the people. Uh, as I just said, who were these people and all of that? Uh, they came from so so play and all that play. Okay, what have you shown them and all that? Then he told them, he told he replied the prophet, I've shown them this, I've shown them that. There's nothing I hid from them and all that. And the prophecy declared that all these things you have shown and all of that, ready that everything be taken as captivity to the Babylon. But it will not happen your day, it will happen through your son. Of course, Manasseh came through him. And uh, eventually, instead of him to pray, <laughs> that's where I'm going. Instead of him to intercede now, he just felt uh, it's a good word, uh, it's a good word, uh, blah, blah, blah. So he felt that since that thing was not coming in his own day, so there was no need. When Shinake was to kill him and kill his kingdom, mm -hmm. he, could pray. he could go to the temple. But when it was not time to pray for his own genealogy, <laughs> you see the attitude of human beings. The same thing Eli did, and that wasted the family of Eli. Mm. And the same mm. thing is, you read about Manasseh, it was terrible. Mm. I mean, it was mm. terrible. Manasseh, mm. we never believed that his father was a righteous king. It was mm. so bad. It was so terrible mm. to the call. Mm. So, mm. It is important. When we come like this, uh, sometimes you will see me, I will lead prayer. I will lead prayer. I will lead prayer for children. I will lead prayer for our spouse and all of that. Some people don't understand. It's like, are these people jobless? No, we are not jobless. In I fact, do. of course, it's jobless here. But we know exactly what we are doing. Uh, I don't know, Pastor Peter, if you saw that video of those 11 children that, uh, that ran through, as in, trailer ran through the, the car, the school car, like uh, all this, I guess it's Yana. I watched the video myself. I, I heard the testimony and I also saw the video. I mean, the pictures and the picture. 
and then I, I those seven children, those eleven children, I think, is it eleven or thirteen? All those children were supposed to die completely. They were not supposed to survive that accident. Me, I cannot tell who must have been praying for those children. Uh, they put on uniform of this winner's uh, uniform. And that's the same school my child is going, felony is going. They call it Kingdom Heritage. Exactly that uniform. That's what they put on. And look at how trailer, I'm talking of real trailer, and the car was under the trailer, compressed the car and destroyed the car completely. None of the child, not even one, died. Now, mm. it was said that it was said because they didn't have crash. They didn't. You will wonder: Are these children? Are they witch? Are they? Are they spirits? But it was said in the testimony that there was a hand that that not came on them, that touched them, woke them up. I guess they died, or I don't know. That a hand, a hand. So, which hand sustained that? The thing is mysterious. The point is that the days are highly evil. Highly evil that we cannot do without praying for our own and praying for our family. And the, why, why am I saying all this? So when we come together like this, let's understand God answers prayer. Because I, I remember I told my wife something, uh, what I want God to do for me in August, and I made mention of the thing. And the lo and behold, I started saying it. At the point, I was not like, so does that mean God is just waiting for me to just say what I want and he will just accomplish it? God answers prayer. That's what I've realized now. He answers prayer. He answers yes. prayer. Sometimes yes. he will not be waiting for you to tell him what you want instead of complaining yes. and more more, tell him what do you want. Let's thank God because we are serving a big God. Let's honor yes. him. In the book of Isaiah, I realized that there is no one that can be likened to him. God is in his own class. He has no comparison. Let's worship him in the beauty of holiness. Giving thanks unto the Father, who had made us to be partakers of the inheritance in light, who had delivered us from the powers of darkness and translated us into the kingdom of his dear son, in whom we have redemption through his blood, the for sin. Let's give Thank thanks you. to God. Let's honor the Lord. Let's praise the Lord. Let's worship the name of the Lord. Let's adore him. Let's praise him. Let's bow before him. Almighty God. Almighty God. Jesus, we have you. For the glory. We have you. For the we bless your name, we worship you, we bless your name, we bless your name, we bless your name, we bless your name, we about twenty minimum chibi, or conscious I can put on me book, jiki jiki jiki, but then we can eat chibi. Oh, by one Amen. Amen. Give thanks to God again this very morning. We want to exalt <laughs> the name of the Lord for his loving kindness and tender mercy. Let's give thanks to God for he has been so faithful in the family. Please worship him in the beauty of your holiness. In the beauty of holiness, there is no one to be compared with him. There is no one to Jesus, 
Amen. In Jesus' precious name, we pray. Amen. I want to pray. Um, I want to ask for wisdom. I want to ask for understanding to manage uh, conflicts and misunderstanding in the home. Uh, many times when you hear some people, uh, a friend was telling me, oh, myself and my husband, we are becoming extremely careful. Um, what she meant is that she is very, very careful uh, what she says because it's like you don't want to offend your husband and then your husband don't want to offend you. So you are walking, uh, almost counting your steps and counting your foot and all of that in the house. No, that shouldn't be. Uh, that we are holiness church or holiness family does not mean that it should look like a barracks. It should look like a place where everywhere is just no fun, no play, no uh, no jokes, no interaction, no communication. And we are just giving one syllable sentence, one syllable this answer, one syllable discussion, one syllable this and one syllable that. Now, that will make life very boring. And I, I want to say that this is how some people go into adultery and they say, yeah, but that man is holiness man. And at the end of the day, some of these opaque ladies, and then when they get out there and they discover you are not enjoying communicating with your wife, and they begin to engage you. And then before you know it, there's an emotional detachment with your wife. And then there's not emotional attachment because to whom you are communicating with regularly, you build a bond. Um, you see, mm -hmm. it's, you see this thing called bond. Bond can be built majorly uh, aside the bedroom matter and all of that. Another thing that built powerful bond between spouse and all of that is this regular communication. That's why you find some some family or some men, even when they travel, they don't play. They do, a day we never pass by without hearing from them. It's a must. In fact, some we call and call, I and send me your picture. I want to be seeing your face. I want to, in fact, they just want that bond to remain because some have understood that once there's a detachment, our heart usually gravitate towards the direction where it feels loved and welcome. And this is how people go into adultery. And before you know it, there's emotional attach detachment in the house, even though they are still at home, husband and wife, but there's no emotional attachment. And so want to go before the Lord whatever it takes oh god that the wisdom in the name mm -hmm. of jesus manage misunderstanding and manage conflict the the okay. principle the principle that mm -hmm. wisdom is the principal thing i might not be able to shout this morning i told us about my health condition uh but as i'm releasing the prayer point just pray just pray as i'm led i'm not putting to manage conflict uh misunderstanding the wisdom to manage things that are not palatable because the truth what? is that always be misunderstanding, be misunderstanding. Sometimes don't be conflict, but that the wisdom in that let's go the prayer our own hand to scatter our home we will not use our chances to scatter our home to scatter our scatter our own to scatter our own every wisdom that is straight you every wisdom that is wise for that grace smile to grant unto us O lord in jesus name lord we lift up our session to your hands for the grace that will not play to tell us the grace O lord that will not play to to the world, Lord, we never pray that unto us, O Lord, in Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Now, what do you realize? You you go to some houses, and the children do not desire to marry in deeper light, and then you are wondering what's their problem. Is it that they hate the GS? No. Is it that they hate the church? No. It is because of what they are seeing in their parents. They see the marriages of their parents and it's very boring. And they are wondering, they don't desire this kind of marriage. They don't desire this kind of home. Daddy comes back from work, no welcoming of the wife, probably at the entrance, no welcoming anyway, or oh, collecting any of the bread fake uh, case or anything. No, there's nothing. Yo, welcome, welcome, welcome. One syllable, welcome, you welcome. You go inside, you go, uh, you, uh, your food is ready, your food is ready. Uh, 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 
if we were just like, uh, okay, let's come for devotion, let's come for devotion. There is no, nothing, nothing. It's just like we're living an official life in the house. Okay, uh, you are welcome. Like when boss and the employee are just doing just exactly the way some people are living. And then when you give them message on holiness and love, they will still come and preach that love that they don't have. They don't display in the home. They will still come and give three points in that message that they don't display in the home. And too much hypocrisy and all of that that you find in the church. I want to cry unto God that all this uh, rubbish and all of these things that we find in many lives. And then at the end of the day, you even find the way the woman, and then they want to do devotion and it comes up with one scripture. And that scripture, he deliberately, he does not the scripture for that day. He just because he wants to talk to the wife. He wants to hammer the wife so that the wife will, yes, or he wants to talk to the husband. He's doing devotion. He will have time to do that thing, to hammer that thing. No, now it shouldn't be. And before you know, accusation here and there. Before you know it, they go to Bagada to say, they go to go headquarters to say, go pastor, uh, this one, that one. And the devil is having a leeway in many homes, many homes. Why? Because either the man lack wisdom or the woman lack wisdom. We're going to pray. The Bible tells us about um, dwelling with knowledge, the knowledge of the home, the knowledge of the wife, the knowledge of the husband, that you will soon know your husband, you will soon know your wife, you will soon understand your children. Let's talk to God in prayer. It's a real prayer point. Let's talk to God that God is God in the name of Jesus Christ. Pray, O oh Lord, that you help us and give us the grace. Our that own way to respect our children for marrying in the Lord. Lord our, our, our children for marrying in the Lord. Our Lord own way to become a discouragement to the children. Our life will not push away our children from truly surrendering to you, from truly cleaving to you. To truly asking to to love you more, Father, that oh Lord in Jesus' name, give us the grace to show a good example to our to our children. Give us the grace, O oh Lord, to show a good example to our children. The grace to show a good example, O oh Lord, in our families. But I grant unto us, O oh Lord, in Jesus' name, Father in heaven, any area we are not doing enough, O oh Lord, God, we are praying that your spirit will still be brought. That teach us, O oh Lord, to truly surrender unto you, O oh Lord, in Jesus' name. Jesus, for the name in our own in Jesus' name. Amen. Let me show us, let me show us something uh, that might be very amazing to us. In Genesis, let me see, let me show us a case in Genesis. In Genesis, let's see what happened between Abraham and the wife. In the book of Genesis, Genesis chapter 18, in verse 1. And the Lord appeared unto him in the plains of Mary, and he sat in the tent in the heat of the day. That's Abraham. And he lifted up his eyes and looked, and lo, three men stood by him. Actually, the three men, two were angels, and the Lord was the third person. Okay, so they were not all angels. The Lord was among the, 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 the three angels. So God himself was there. And then, and when he saw them, he ran to meet them from the tent door and bowed instead toward the ground and said, My Lord, if I have found favor in thy sight, pass not away like pray thee from thy servant. And now, this is what happened. Now, do we understand the story here? Look at the story here. The story here is that he saw three men and they, they were looking like men, actually. They were men, I think, normal with normal eyes. Now they were men. And then, so he saw them. And then being a man, uh, a man under God, he could perceive that these weren't ordinary men. And then he pleaded with them that they should just tell a wife so he could take care of them. But he did, he did something. He did something. Immediately, he came to the wife uh, in verse 4. Let's, let's see what he did. Let a little water, I was telling them now, let a little water, I pray you, be fetched and wash your feet and rest yourself under the tree. And then he quickly came to the wife. When he got to the wife, see what he did. And Abraham is thinking to the tent unto Sarah and said, make ready quickly three measures of fine flour and knit it and make cakes upon the air. 
And Abraham ran unto the herb and fetched a calf, a calf tender and good, and gave it unto a young man, and he hasted to dress it, and all of that. Now, <laughs> if you look at what happened here, within the space of time, they have prepared a meal for the stranger. Abraham needed not to give a salmon before the wife would comply. There was a powerful synergy and cooperation in that home. That was why it was very easy. It was so easy for him. You know, many times I have thought of it. I don't know if I had married a wrong woman in my life. I don't know how my life would have been because me, I didn't enjoy my parents as such. Yes, that's the truth. I'm not ashamed to say it. I even though I've lost them, but I didn't enjoy them as such. And I know what it means to marry wrongly. I, I understand what it means. When I thank God, God showed me mercy. I didn't miss it. And then because uh, I live in a house where people come, they go, people come, they go. Uh, this one comes for program, it comes, it go. And then I don't need to preach and preach and preach before my wife will understand. She doesn't need to preach and preach and preach before I understand and all of that. As we perceive and we agree, we allow. As we perceive and we agree, we allow. As we perceive, we agree, we allow. And it's been amazing. Now, this was exactly what Abraham did here. He just told Sarah, we are going to pray. There will be mighty and powerful synergy in our family. But the husband will not be going left. The wife is going right. Husband will not be going up. The husband, the wife is going down. God will give all mighty and powerful unity and powerful cooperation. I am telling you, if husband and wife can cooperate and they pray on an issue, God will say to it, let's go before the Lord and tell the Lord to help us. Shall we go before God in prayer? God, thank you for your mm. word that has also shown us how it should be. Father, I also thank you for my partner. You have given me that I'll be so cooperative for the degrees to unite more as husband and wife grant unto us, O Lord, in Jesus' name. Father, we come before your throne of mercy. We pray, O Lord, that that synergy that is needed to truly have a home that heaven on earth unto us, O Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. Now, I'm taking the last prayer point, and uh, Pastor Peter, please, you help us throughout. Uh, and just say, uh, I don't want to stress myself too much. In Isaiah chapter, um, I'm reading this scripture I want to read. Uh, please, I want us to take it seriously. Uh, many of us here were parents, and uh, for Pastor Peter, you're already having graduates and graduates and graduates. And you spent quite a lot on them. Pastor Matthew is here spending a lot on those children. And mommy is here sacrificing day and night for those children. You, if you know what it means, I think Pastor Mike is here too. So well, you know the sacrifice you make on these children day and night. Pastor Banning is here. And we can tell the sacrifice we make. Even me that, that have uh, uh, just two kids for now. I can tell you, <laughs> even as young as they are, the sacrifice one is making day and night and the, the spending and all of that. And they know to talk of a child that had been trained going through secondary school and the tertiary institution. And then at the edge of that child's successes, and then the enemy wants to claim that child. Or at the point where one ought to be ripping his, uh, uh, his labor or ripping the foot of his labor. And they say the, the life is cut short and somebody will come and say it's the will of God. No, I don't want that kind of will of God where my life will just be shot by the enemy and destroyed by the enemy. I told them in the congregation yesterday where we had combined service during study scripture. I can't die like that. I had one particular accident some time ago. And then, and so that's how I would have died or like that, the jeep that hits the air. So like that, somebody will just go on the express, on the highway. And yet I came out out of that this thing, nothing. God so secured my life and preserved me. And uh, so I was not like telling them, no, I can't die like that. I will not die like a fowl. And they, they will not die like fowl. Now let's look at that scripture and claim this promise of God very quickly. In the Isaiah chapter 66, in Isaiah 66, please let's uh, read it together and just claim this promise and uh, we go to the Lord in prayer. In Isaiah 66. 
he talked about that they will not sow and another reap and all of that. No, mm -hmm. chapter 65, actually. 65, actually. In verse 21. Verse 21. And they shall build houses and inhabit them. Amen. And they shall plant vineyard and eat the fruit of them. Amen. They Amen. shall not and another inhabit. Amen. They Amen. shall not another e for as the days of a tree are the three days of my people. Listen to thee, and my elect shall long enjoy the works of their hand. Amen. 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 Pray and tell the Lord, Pastor Peter, you will enjoy. You will long enjoy the work of your. Amen. You have Amen. 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 Mommy, you will long enjoy the work of your hand. Amen. Amen. The work of your hand. You will not die before your time. Nothing your stress will not cut your life short. No terminal disease will claim your life. Pastor Mike, Pastor Peter, Pastor Bunny, our mommy, every one of you may love God of heaven prolong your life. You will Pastor. long enjoy the work of your hand to God in prayer. Oh Lord, that we shall feel that inheritance. We shall feel that enjoy all the children you have given to us. Father, we thank you because you have also trained them. Father, our life is short. But we there in the day of their choice. In the day that they are getting married, in the day that they are opening houses, in the day they are launching great things, in the day they are celebrating children, Father, no one will represent us. We will be there. We will enjoy these children. We will enjoy the fruit of our labor. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. A precious Father, we are grateful. We know that. That which we have told you in the place of prayer this morning, you have answered. We know there will be testimony to the glory of your name. As our leader continues now to lead us, Pastor Peter, Lord, we pray you will hear us the more. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Pastor Peter. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Okay, we are going to continue where we, uh, our pastor stopped. We are going to take those uh, promises one by one and pray of them. What is family prayer? We are going to pray that the Lord has told us already that we build houses and we have beat them. Amen. Have you seen some places where people are built? Like there's an area in my area in Kurdu where the ballet has given order that no one should sell a land to this group of people called last man. Because these people come to buy land, they build, as they are finishing their house, they will die, they will come and bury them there. A lot of like that has happened because of the causes on the line of their duty. And now a man has given an order that no one should allow that to happen again. No one should even allow them to buy, not to even come and build. Now we are going to pray. For those of us that are not already living in their own houses, that God of heaven, this is the promise that given out to us, that we will build houses and we will inhabit them. We are going to pray that God will open the window of heaven and pour out a blessing upon us that we will be able to buy lands, build houses, and we inhabit them. Shall we pray? Our Father, we come before your throne of mercy this morning. Oh Lord, we pray that you will help us. As your word has said, we will build houses and we habit them. They will not bring our dead bodies to our houses that we build. We will finish these houses. We will live in them. Thank you for us that are already living our own. Those that are already living their own, we worship and bless your name. Father, we pray for others, O oh Lord, that you will help them. They will build houses and they will help it them. In the name of Jesus. O oh Lord God, in heaven we pray that you will, your hand will be mighty upon us. You will bless us, O oh Lord. You will bless us, O oh Lord. You will bless us, O oh Lord. That as we build 
O Lord, we also habit, O Lord, in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. He said they shall also plant vineyards, and they will eat the fruit thereof. For some of us that are not farmers, we there's everybody has a work that is doing. That work that we are doing, we we are going to pray that God will prosper those our works. God will prosper those our works, and we eat the fruit thereof. Okay. Our money that is being paid to us will not be for treatment. Will not be for taking care of the sick. Will not be for treating our body. That that money will be useful for us. We will use our money that we will eat from it, we will enjoy from it, and be satisfied. Shall we pray? <clears throat> Father in heaven, I pray this morning. Pray this morning that you will help us that as we walk, O oh Lord. Father, our walk will not be for, for treating sickness. Our money will not be for, for problem here and there. But I rather, O oh Lord, you help us that this money will be so useful for us, so Lord, in Jesus' name. We will be blessed in our friends, in our workplaces. Father, you so bless us, O oh Lord, in Jesus' name. Do something new for us. Promote us in our working places. Promote us in our working places. Promote us, O oh Lord. And let your name be glorified in our lives, O oh Lord. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. In verse 22, he said, They shall not build and other inhabit. They shall not plant and another eat. It's the same thing that I said that is repeating again to reaffirm it. Let's pray that we, our, our, all that we are building on our children, all that we are building on, at our work, all that we are building as uh, buildings, that we will have it. <clears throat> we will have it all of them. We will have it all of them. We will not plant and all that we eat, all that we are laboring. Oh Lord, in heaven we pray that we eat the fruit of our labor, Lord. We eat the fruit of our labor, Lord. We eat the fruit of our labor, Lord. In the name of Jesus, oh Lord, in heaven we come before your throne of mercy. Father, we come before your throne of mercy. We pray, oh Lord, that you do something new in our lives, oh Lord. Father, do something new in our life, O oh Lord. We will enjoy the fruit of our labor. We will enjoy the fruit of our labor. We will enjoy the fruit of our labor. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. It says, For as the days of a tree are. The days of my people, like the days of the tree are the days of my people. That means that we will have long life. We will live long. Have you seen trees? That tree doesn't die so easily. This is the promise of God that is going to give us long life. Let's pray that nothing will cut short our life. Nothing will cut short our life. As the day of the trees are, so also will be the days of my people. O oh Lord, in heaven and come before your throne of mercy. Father, I pray, O oh Lord, that you will give us long life. Father, give us long life. Preserve us, O oh Lord. Protect us, O oh Lord. Protect us, O oh Lord. Protect us, O oh Lord. Keep us as long as you have promised us in the name of Jesus. 
I commit my wife, I commit my children into your hand. Will our life will not be cut short. We will live long, O Lord. We will live long, O Lord. We will live long, O Lord. And enjoy the fruit of our labor, O Lord. In the name of Jesus. O Lord, go and we will pray that you will now be glorified in our lives, O Lord, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. And my legs shall long enjoy the work of their hands. God is saying, we are not going to enter the uh, to start enjoying the work of our hands and we will die and go for long we are going to enjoy the fruit of our labor let's pray that when the fruit of our labor start coming when our children start giving us when our children start performing that we will not die and other will not come and enjoy the fruit of our children's labor Father in heaven, we come before your throne this morning. Father, you say for long we will enjoy the fruit of our labor. Oh Lord God in heaven, I pray for my me and my wife and every brother and sister, every family represented in this prayer network that Lord, you will give us that long life that long life so that when our children start uh, giving us, we will live long to enjoy, O oh Lord, in Jesus' name. Father, do great things in our life. In our old age, O oh Lord, we will not live in penury. We will not live in want. Father, your blessings will, will, will be multiplied upon our lives, O oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. O oh Lord, we pray that you do great things in our life. You do great things in our life. Your hand will continue to abide upon us mightily, O oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Our children will pray, O oh Lord, you will so bless them, O oh Lord, that they will have more than enough to able to take care of us in our old age, O oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. They will never be glorified in our lives, O oh Lord. Thank you, Lord, for the answer prayers, O Lord. In Jesus' name, we pray. Now we are going to pray today. It's Monday, the first working day of the month. We are going to pray that God himself will bless us. We are going to lift up our nation, Nigeria, Amen. to the hands of God. You know the protest today is another working day. We don't know that it's going to end today or that it's going to continue. Let's pray that God will preserve our land. Let's pray that God will preserve our land. Let's pray that God will preserve our nation. God will take charge of this nation. That all the plans of the enemy concerning this great nation, Nigeria, that God will destroy them. In the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, we come before your throne of mercy. Father, we pray, oh Lord, that you will visit us in this our great nation, Nigeria. Father, you visit us in this our great nation, Nigeria. All the plans of the enemy for send our nation. Father, destroy, O Lord. Father, destroy, O Lord. Father, destroy, O Lord. Father, preserve us, O Lord. Father, preserve us, O Lord. Let your will be done in our life. Father, today is Monday. We pray, O Lord, that all that are going to do this week, O Lord, we will break break upon them. Break on them, O oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. O oh Lord, bless all this week, O oh Lord. Father, bless all this week, O Lord. Father, bless all this week, O Lord. Father, bless all this week, O Lord. In the name of Jesus. O oh Lord, we never come before your strength. Father, we pray, O oh Lord. Father, we pray, O oh Lord, that you glorify yourself. O Lord, O Lord, glorify yourself, O Lord, in our lives, O Lord, in the name of Jesus. O Lord, glorify yourself, O Lord. Glorify yourself, O Lord. O Lord, we pray that do something new in our life, O Lord. And let your name and your name alone be exalted in our lives, O Lord, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. In Jesus' name, we pray.
Now I'm going to pray for Pastor Yomi. Yesterday, could not join us in the pastor's prayer because of severe headache. We know that all these are because of stress that is going through here and there. We are going to pray that God we touch him, God we uphold him, that God we let his perfect healing be upon him. Father, and everyone commit your servant, Pastor Yomi, Lord, into your hands. Father, we pray, O oh Lord, that that headache, that is that severe headache, you said they woke up at 1 a.m. and could not sleep again. Father, we pray, O oh Lord, perfect the head of your servant, O oh Lord, perfect the head of your servant, O oh Lord. All that is doing here and there are for your kingdom to grow your kingdom. Father, we pray that the enemy will not fall short his life, O oh Lord. In the name of Jesus, O Lord, stand forth your hand of healing. Heal your son, O Lord, and let your hand be mighty upon him, him, his wife, and his children, O Lord. Father, we pray that your protection will be upon them, that the arrow of the wicked do not come near them. In the name of Jesus, thank you, Holy Spirit of God. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Amen. Our Father in heaven, worship and bless your name for a day like this. We thank you for the privilege to wake up. We thank you for all that you have been doing. We say glory, honor, the worship, thanksgiving be unto your name, O Lord, in Jesus' name. Father, as our leader, we take over now, we pray that you use him to encourage us the more, O Lord, in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord, for the answer prayer to Lord. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Yeah, Pastor Matthew, please. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. I want to encourage everyone of us. Anytime we are online, uh, in your, I don't know if YouTube, but okay, you can join the YouTube. Then you share. You will see share. That's most of the time you see what I do. I don't. I find it difficult when we start. When you are calling my name to send it to, I find it difficult to answer. The reason why, but then I was sharing it to people. I was, I think it was then the Pastor Mike joined us. So let us, everyone, first of all, you can invite 10 people just that day. You can do it. Just you just share. Immediately you click share, it will tell you either to the WhatsApp or through the uh, message or anything. You see that then you click, then you can invite other people and God is going to help us in Jesus' name. Uh, the book of Jeremiah 29, 11, I know the plan I have for you, declare the Lord. Plan to prosper you and not to harm you, not to seek, not to discourage you, not to not to stop you, not to uh harm your children. Not to let anything happen your to your husband, neither to your wife, neither to your family, neither to anybody that it, it will even touch and will touch you. But plan to give you all the future. And this is what I want you to know. For every one of us, I think it has escaped my, uh, my computer. And we are about seven or something like that. For every one of us that we are online today, this is message of the Lord for you. Fear not. 10,000 may fall by the right side. Another 1,000 whatsoever may fall by the left side. But well, my dear brother, fear not. A happy plan. The Bible let us make, the Bible make it very clear. I mean, very clear that do everything decently and in order. If Bible consider that, Bible know what is doing for you. By the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, for every one of us that online today, at our old age, we will not bear before we eat, we eat in Jesus' name. Amen. The Bible say, I know the plan I have for you. Do you know the reason why I allow your children to be prospering? Do you know the reason why I allow your children to be what they are becoming? Do you know the reason why I allow your wife, I allow your son, I have your husband to have all what is having? Not because of today. Because I'm doing everything orderly. 
so that when you become old, when you become 90, when you become 100, you see those particular person you are looking at, that God is blessing them by the power and the blood of Jesus at your old age, you will not seek them before you find them in Jesus' name. Amen. By the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, your children will take care of you in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. By the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, they will not be blindfolded. By the power and the blood of Jesus Amen. Christ, everything you are planted in their life to become what they become today, in your old age, one million fold, they will pay you back in the name of Jesus Christ. I want you to Amen. open your mouth and call upon the name of the Lord. The Almighty Father, Father I pray by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ. I put my future into your hand. By the power in the blood of Jesus Christ, I will not bear before eating in the name of Jesus Christ. I will not bear before eating in the name of Jesus Christ. You know, it's very rare people to pray that this kind of prayer. Pray for their old days. I don't know why the God brought it today, but I want you to call upon the name of the Lord. I've done what you asked me to do to pray my children. To but take care the of them. And the many times time I've sacrificed. Many times time I will not eat. Many times time time I will not drink. Many times time what I have, I have to let it go. Just be content to be prosper. Call upon the name of the Lord. That by the power in the blood of Jesus Christ, where it is your own tongue, where it is your own tongue, to eat from them. To suck from their breast, that by the power in the blood of Jesus Christ, you will not find them wanted. They will not die untimely But the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, God will have blessed them. The your understanding about the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, they will not even look up before they take care of you. Call upon the name of the Lord. Call upon the name of the Lord. If you can mention your name, I, met, I bring a two women into your hands. I bring queen into your hands. You will bless these children for me in the name of Jesus Christ. At my own age, that by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, when I will not be able to do anything, when I will need to stretch my leg and be eaten from the from, from the fruit of my labor, when I will need to sit down, I will be expecting my child to be provided for me. By the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, I will not find them wanting. I will not find them wanting. I will not find them wanting. God will take care of my children for me to the old age. God will be with my children to the old age. The grace of the Lord will be with them with the old age. Call upon the name of the Lord. Call upon the name of the Lord. Call upon the name of the Lord. It's better you sow this prayer now into their life. That by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, when I become old, when I become old, in that my own age, that by the way, when even I will have money, but to go and buy food will become a challenge. Yes, the money will be there, but to cook will, be, to, to, will become a challenge. But at that, that particular time, I need my kid. I, I need my children. Uh, you have told me in the Bible. You just told me now that you plan to give me hope and the future. I bring the I bring the future of my old age into you by the power in the blood of Jesus Christ. My children, oh Lord, they will not become my enemy when I become old. By the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, my children, they will not become my enemy when I become old. I call upon your Lord by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ. You will shred them. You will shred our relationship. The mercy, the eyes of mercy so that you did not have on, 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 the, on, the, on the children, you will give to my children in the name of Jesus Christ. But the power of the blood of Jesus Christ in my old age, when all the all the air has become white, when every book in have become old, by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, my children will be useful for me. My children will be useful for me. My future will be bright. My future will be bright. My brother will be bright. I will not be begging before eating. I will not be begging before eating. I will not be begging before even taking shower. I will not be begging even before the asking me to do anything. Because by the power and the blood, you have assured me. You have assured me. You have assured me that my future is in your hand. That my future is in your hand. That your future is in your hand. Spread my future for me in the name of Jesus Christ. Let the name of the Lord be glorified. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Over to you, Pastor, uh, uh, Pastor Peter. Round of us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Our uh, Father and our God, we worship and bless your name for yet another wonderful day. Thank we thank you for the gift of life. Thank you. We thank you for the testimonies we've had. 
Yesterday okay. we had testimony for Pastor Matthew. This morning we had testimony from Pastor uh, yeah. Yomi. We adore your name for the testimony of those children that say they saw that hand that they were not crushed. Oh Lord God, now we adore you. Oh God, now we bless you. Say glory, honor, the shall thank you be unto your name. Oh Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. Lord, thank you for the privilege to bring our families before you today. Father, we have prayed, we have pleaded, we have cried that, oh Lord, that you help us, that all that we should have building now, Father, mm. the grace that we inhabit, you grant unto us, oh Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. We will not build another apple we inhabit, oh Lord. Amen. We will not plant another apple we reap. Oh Lord, Amen. God in heaven, our children that we are struggling to train today, oh Lord God, Father in heaven, when they when you have blessed them, they have become great uh, boys, men, and women. Father, they will not forget us, O oh Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. O oh Lord, go and never the grace that our children will be our friends till the Amen. end. O oh Lord, Amen. go and never grant unto us, O oh Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. So that I looking up to you, say, ah, when are we going to have our our own children. Father in heaven, we pray, O oh Lord, that according to your promise, O oh Lord, you say, no, we bury them among God. Yes. Father, you will open heaven and touch them and give Amen. them that food of the wood that they so desire, O oh Lord, Amen. in Jesus' name. Amen. And that say, ah, when are we going to have land to not become, to not build, to not inhabit? Father in heaven, is your promise. If you not do it, you will not promise it. O oh Lord, God, now we pray miraculously, O oh Lord, you will open the window of heaven and provide for your people lands that they will build and inhabit, O oh Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. O oh Lord, we thank you for our pastor, Pastor Yomi. We commit him, O oh Lord, into your hand. We pray that your hand will continue to rest upon him. All those Amen. stress here and there, Father and heaven, we pray that they are to stretch those. You grant unto him from heaven, O oh Lord, that you will not break down, O oh Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. You said in your word, O oh Lord, that you gave your beloved sleep, that we sleep like babies. O oh Lord, go and now we pray that you will reset the sleeping of Pastor Yomi, that when he sleep, O oh Lord, till the normal time, he used to wake up to have his uh, morning prayers, you reset him back to that time, O oh Lord, not that you go and sleep and one o'clock you wake up in Jesus' name. Amen. Father, we commit this week, O oh Lord, to your hand. We pray, O oh Lord, that you lead and guide us, protect us, Amen. guide us. Amen. No harm will come before us, O oh Lord, Amen. in Jesus' name. Amen. And the protest in the prayer, Lord, going on, we pray that you take charge. Don't allow the enemies to take uh, over this protest and now destroy the little little things we are managing. That are not even enough for us, O oh Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. For me, the, the president and his cabinet, O oh Lord, to your hand, open their eyes to see the pain of the people. Amen. O oh Lord, open their eyes to see the pain of the people. So Amen. they will do that right, and people will rejoice again in this land, in Jesus' name. Amen. Meanwhile, we pray for your own children here and there. We pray, O oh Lord, in the midst of this famine, you provide for us, O oh Lord. Amen. Why could you to provide for us, O oh Lord? Amen. To us, oh Lord. Amen. In the name of Jesus, O oh Lord, commit, O oh Lord, our leader, Pastor Matthew, O oh Lord, into your hand. We thank you for your testimony shared with us yesterday. We show that you are still God, you are still working. And you pray that you continue to answer him. All the trouble is going through here and there. Father, settle him in all sides, O oh Lord, grant him all round victory, O oh Lord. In Amen. the name of Jesus, Lord in heaven, as his laboring day and night, running up and down for your throne, O oh Lord, for your kingdom, O oh Lord. Father, I pray that everyone will also run up and down for him. Amen. Him, oh Lord, in all sides, in Jesus' name. Amen. I pray for the wife, O oh Lord. We pray, you said, the heart of the king is in your hand. Yes, you talk to us, whoever that show that pleases you. Father, yes. I pray that you touch that woman again. Amen. Amen. Her back home to her family, O oh Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. And then, um, I Give me, Lord, to your hand. We pray that this uh, trouble between the father and the mother will not affect them. Your hand will rest upon them. You cause them, O oh Lord, to be the great children that you have planned them to be, O oh Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. Come in the rest of the day to your hand. Take charge, O oh Lord. Amen. Let your name alone be glorified. Amen. Thank you for that prayer, O oh Lord. Amen. Amen.
Jesus name we pray. Amen. 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 Let's share the grace together. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. Lord. 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 The love of the Lord. And the grace of the Holy Spirit. Be with us now. Amen. Amen. Surely. Surely. Good morning, all. God bless you. Good morning. Thank you. God bless.